Welcome back. Welcome back to another steamy Steam Deck video. And in this video, we're answering the age-old question, a question I've, I've been asked quite a lot on this channel, believe it or not. Can the Steam Deck, the Steam Deck, replace your $3,000 gaming PC? The answer is complicated. It's, in part, yes, if you want it to. Um, and in my, in my case, no, it can't. Um, and we're going to get into it. But first, before we do, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon, do all the usual stuff for YouTube. It really helps out. And if you want more Steam Deck content, this is the place to be, all right? Anyways, let's get into it. And Blaze, um, come follow me on Twitter, all right? Down here. Let's get into it. Hey guys, before we get to this video, we're giving away one of these amazing folding keyboard and track pads for the Steam Deck. It's my favorite Steam Deck accessory and we're giving away in a couple of weeks. All you have to do for a chance of winning is clicking the like button, subscribe button and bell icon and commenting down below as to why you would want to win one of these bad boys. Also, if you just want to buy one of these things, um, I'll put a link to where you could buy it in the video description and in the top comment of this video. So guys, you'd be surprised how many times I get asked on this YouTube channel for videos that I posted months ago. Someone comes in and says, hey Blaze, should I buy a gaming PC? Or should I buy a Steam Deck? And in some cases, people ask Blaze, should I sell my $3,000 gaming PC and get a Steam Deck instead? Because you can actually do that now. You can buy, believe it or not, you can buy the Steam Deck. It's available to buy right now at last. Um, it, took, it took long enough, didn't it? But um, people do ask these questions. <laughs> now, we're comparing apples and oranges here. We're comparing a $399 portable gaming PC that runs SteamOS, Linux, um, potentially Windows, if you want to install Windows on it, um, to something that costs $3,000 that can play games at 4K, 120, 160 um, FPS at ultra settings, okay? Like I said, apples and oranges, okay? Um, can this replace a, a gaming PC? Absolutely. All right, if your budget is 399 bucks and you're browsing eBay right now, let me let me pull up the eBay screen. If your budget's 399 and you're browsing eBay right now and you're seeing these PCs that are like 229 that can play Fortnite, um, 169, you know, and you're thinking, hmm, should I get one of these or should I get a Steam Deck? Well, I'm probably going to tell I'm going to give you the answer to that. Get yourself a Steam Deck because they get those PCs that you see on eBay for that price. They're refurbished, refurbished. First of all, you don't know the quality of the parts. The part, they, like the graphics cards, might have been faulty. They might have done some quick little um, fix to it to try and keep it, like keep it alive for another six months. And then in six months, something happens with your PC, it overheats, it, it just turns off all of a sudden, and it won't turn back on. You never know what you're buying off eBay, right? And you don't know the quality of the parts that are in those PCs, and also chances are the performance of those cheap PCs probably won't be far off the Steam Deck. Um, and like I said, this is a portable PC, right? This thing, you can take it with you on the go, play most of, if not all, of your game library on this thing um, at all right settings. I mean, it's got a 720p screen in, so chances are you're going to be able to play them at a decent performance, decent level. Um, this thing's blown me away at times. I was playing the Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2 beta on this thing after I installed Windows on it, and it was getting a solid 60 FPS, and it looked pretty damn good. Like, so it depends on developers optimizing their games for this thing. Um, so you can have a great experience on this thing, and if it's between either this or a cheap 200, 300, 400 dollar PC on eBay, get this, do yourself a favor, right? You could dock this up, um, run desktop mode Linux, you know, do graphics editing on this thing, um, word processing, spreadsheets, you name it. You could watch YouTube, Netflix, do all that sort of stuff on this um, and take it on the go with you. Take your game library on the go with you. I mean, you can't beat that, can you, really? You you just can't. It's it's a damn portable PC that runs full Linux, Windows if you wanted to, um, and then also has the SteamOS overlay if you just want that cool gaming handheld vibe with it. Um, it's hard to beat. And like I said, if it's between this and a $400 eBay PC that's refurbished and has crappy parts, get yourself a Steam Deck. But the question is, I also want to answer in this video, is can it replace a $3,000 gaming PC like this one that I built last year on the channel? The answer is no, because that thing that I just showed you can play games at 120, 
to 200 to 300 to 400 in some cases depending on the game fps ultra settings um at high resolutions right 4k 1440p now i've got i've got uh 4k i've got three 1440p monitors here and they're so freaking good like playing game it's let me tell you it's an it's one hell of an experience playing a game at 1440p at like 160 fps i can't explain it it's just super buttery smooth it's like a it's an experience like no other when it comes to gaming all right and when we compare that to the steam deck here We've got a 720p screen, it runs games, you know, at maybe low to medium settings, at like 30, 30 to 40, and at most, maybe 60. Um, it's night and day, it's apples and oranges, right? Apples and oranges. Apples and oranges, okay? Two different things. Now, if you don't care about resolution, if you don't care about frame rate, if you don't care about graphic settings, um, input latency with a mouse and keyboards and stuff yes this this can replace your three thousand dollar gaming pc if you're traveling all the time and you never get to sit down at one place and play games on a on a dedicated desktop pc then absolutely the steam deck probably can replace it because let's be honest you're going to be able to you're not going to be able to take your gaming pc with you on the road if you're traveling all the time for business or work you know Yes, this probably can replace your $3,000 gaming PC because there's no chance you're going to be taking that with you in your backpack. Um, but if you're at home a lot of the time and you just want to play games and enjoy them and play them for the best experience possible, get yourself a gaming PC if you have that sort of budget. Um, if it's if it's a high-end gaming PC, that is. But for me, if you're, for my in my situation, obviously I've got a gaming PC, I've got the Steam Deck... Um, I use them to complement each other. So what I love about the Steam Deck is being able to carry on from where I left off on my gaming PC. So I'll be playing Resident Evil Village. Let's see, I was playing that, I was streaming that a couple of weeks ago on the channel. I was playing Resident Evil Village at 1440p, 120 plus FPS, um, ultra settings, and just thoroughly loving the experience on my gaming PC, desktop gaming PC, and my monitor, on my 1440p, 165Hz monitor. It was so good, it's super enjoyable. Um, I love that experience. But then there's times where I don't feel like sitting up here and playing up here, right? And I want to be able to go down and spend time with the family. Um, and I still want to enjoy the game. You know, I just want to go chill with the family and my kids. Um, that's where the Steam Deck comes in. It complements my gaming PC, all right? Now, if you, like I says, like I says, if your budget's 400 bucks, right? You, you can't really, you don't have the luxury of having a high-end gaming PC. Um, but you do have the luxury of having the Steam Deck, and like I says, this thing can surprise you with the performance it has. But for me, if you if you're if you're someone that has a three thousand dollar gaming PC, don't sell it for the Steam Deck. Come on, um, just save up, get yourself a Steam Deck to complement your gaming PC. And like I says, play your games at max resolutions, max frame, max frame rates on your beautiful gaming PC. And then when you want to when you want to go go somewhere, when you, when you want to go travel. If you're traveling for work, go to work, go on the train, go on a flight, go down, spend some time downstairs with the family, take your Steam Deck, play games on that, carry on from where you left off. And that's what I love about this thing. Like, I was playing Resident Evil up here on my gaming PC. Um, I just shut the game down, Steam uploaded the save file to the cloud, I went downstairs, booted up the Steam Deck, and jumped in where I left off on the gaming PC. It complements my gaming PC. It doesn't replace it, it complements it. But, like I said, everyone's different. Maybe if you don't, you know, maybe if you don't mind playing games at lower resolutions frame rates etc then the steam deck might be a good replacement for you um but if you have the money i would say absolutely get both it's not a question of which one you should get ideally you should get both if you can afford it if you've only got a 300 to 400 dollar budget get yourself a steam deck hands down it's not even close don't bother with the cheap refurbs on ebay just get yourself a steam deck all right um but yeah does it replace a three thousand dollar gaming pc no <laughs> No, and those of you that asked that question on the YouTube channel, shame on you. It doesn't. It doesn't. Does it complement one? Yes. Um, for those of you asking, should I get this? Should I get this or a, a four hundred dollar gaming PC off of eBay that's refurbed? Get yourself a Steam Deck. It's it's not even a it's not even a question we should be asking. The Steam Deck, with the form factor, the portability, even the power in it, and just the options that you can use this thing for. This is what you should be going for for 400 bucks anyways guys hopefully that was an interesting video 
I would love to know what you think in the comment section, all right? Let me know in the comment section, because I read every single comment, all right? So come let me know what you think down there, because I'm really curious to know what you think about it. And obviously, follow me on my socials as well, all right? Um, Twitter, I hang around a lot on there nowadays. So come say hi on Twitter, click the follow button, um, and let's be friends, okay? Um, and let me know what you think down below. <laughs> would you get rid, would you just throw your $3,000 PC in the dump? And just be happy with your Steam Deck. Maybe, maybe if you're Bill Gates. <laughs> but for me, no. Anyways, guys, hopefully that answered your question. I'm Blaze2K. Okay. Thank you for watching. I love you. And if you want more Steam Deck content, more gaming than tech content, please click the like, subscribe, and bell icon because I'll be posting a lot more. I post videos every single day. And also, I stream every day at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on this YouTube channel and on Twitch down here at Blaze2K okay Gaming. Um, and like I said, come follow me on Twitter, all right? Because we're doing giveaways every now and again. And if you want to support, click the join button, become a member, or go to patreon.com forward slash Blaze2KX and support over there. Anyways, have a wonderful day. I love you guys. Enjoy your week. Bye.